This year's Lakers team is not the same team they've been in the past. Yes, the roster is essentially identical to last season's, but they're already looking so much better. The Lakers won their first season opener since 2016 and started off 3-0 for the first time since 2011. It's not like they've gone up against bad teams either. They've had to face the Timberwolves, Suns, and Kings, who swept the Lakers in the regular season last year. It's actually crazy how a team that's not full of young stars got so much better after not making a single move in the offseason. Well, there was one move. LeBron's podcasting buddy JJ Redick, aka the guy who's only coached a team of 4th graders, looks like the best coach the Lakers have had in years. And it makes you cry a little bit knowing how two seasons of LeBron and AD were literally wasted with Darvin Ham. Go hard on them dudes. Everybody's trying to play the right way. Salute. JJ Redick is probably the biggest reason for this sudden turnaround. It's not just me saying that either, Lakers players themselves are taking shots at Darvin Ham every chance they get. They obviously have a good roster, I mean it's essentially the same team that went to the conference finals two seasons ago, but it's the way he's actually utilizing the talent that's changed everything. First of all, they run an offense. I haven't seen the Lakers run an actual offense in years. They would run a simple action or two and call it a day, which is why they would turn into garbage once opposing teams caught on. This team actually makes adjustments and adapts to things as it's happening, not to mention the fact that JJ Redick uses his timeouts. As someone that's watched almost every Laker game over the last couple years, it's refreshing. But it's beyond the X's and O's, the players themselves look so much better. I about fainted the first time I saw Rui Hachimura attack the glass. You would have thought Rui was scared of the basketball the way he would rebound over the last couple years. He's now not only getting rebounds, but he's attacking the paint in general and just looks so much better than he's been. I think we all knew this type of production from him was always possible, but he's finally taking that next step. That goes for the whole team though, rebounding was clearly addressed going into the season. Then Dolan Connect is being set up perfectly, and JJ is actually running plays to get him open. We saw how good of a player he can be in the preseason game against Phoenix, where he took over all by himself and scored 35 points with 8 threes. That was unbelievable, and JJ knew exactly what to call to keep getting him the ball. The Lakers are even getting valuable minutes out of Jackson Hayes. Just the overall energy and vibe from the team is completely different. But of course it also helps that the team has two superstar caliber players. I really think winning that gold medal together sparked something in them, especially Anthony Davis who's looking like an early MVP and DPOY candidate. In the first few games, he's averaging over 30 points and 10 rebounds while shooting like 60% from the field. I mean, in just the third game of the season, they were able to break the Kings and Sabonis curse. If you didn't know, Sabonis was 10-0 against Anthony Davis going into that game. And not only did they get the win, him and LeBron absolutely dominated. AD dropped 31-9 while LeBron had a 32-point triple-double and completely took over the game for the Lakers. After having a slowish start for LeBron in the first two games, he went full Olympic mode. The Kings started getting hot in the second half, but he single-handedly brought them all the way back. However, you can't talk about that game without mentioning the massive three Anthony Davis hit with 40 seconds left. JJ Redick wanted him shooting more threes, and that's exactly what he's doing, with confidence too. Something very important I also forgot to mention is that this was all while coming off a back-to-back. -back. They literally played another crazy game the night before. And even if it finished closer than it probably should have, the Lakers 100% would have lost that game last year. Their ability to close out games last season was non-existent. It was actually impressive how they were able to take games that should be blowouts and make it an absolute nail-biter. But that wasn't even the first time we saw them close out a tough game this season. The first two games were extremely similar. Against the Timberwolves, they started off hot, which is something that hasn't happened since like 2021. It got closer in the second half, but they were able to close it out versus a really solid team. But the game against Phoenix is a perfect example of how much better this team has gotten, although the Kings game is also a pretty good example. Speaking of starting hot, the Suns made 21 of their first 30 shots and made 9 straight threes at one point. They were up 20 points with almost the entire second quarter to go. 
The Lakers weren't playing the best defense to start out, but they still made several difficult shots even when they were playing good defense. However, instead of letting the game get completely out of their hands, they started to fight back. The second half was a whole different game. The Suns eventually cooled off while the Lakers made adjustments on both sides of the floor. That game alone gave me, and I'm sure everybody on the team, reassurance that they do have the ability to come back and close things out. So many people thought they would start the season with multiple losses due to their difficult starting schedule, but they're quickly showing they aren't the same team as previous years. Austin Reeves gets better every season, Max Christie is in a bigger role, D'Angelo Russell is still up for debate, and the Lakers haven't lost in the Bronny James era. If LeBron and AD can stay healthy like they were last year, then this team has a ton of potential. LeBron even said that he's planning on playing all 82 games as long as he doesn't get hurt. Although LeBron isn't known to be the most truthful person in the world. And even though they didn't make that offseason move that you were probably hoping for as a Laker fan, chemistry can be a weapon of its own. Plus, if Vanderbilt can ever come back from his injury, they become an even better team defensively, which is always going to be their biggest problem. Obviously, it's still early in the season, and everything I said in this video could quickly fall apart, and I do still expect there to be growing pains and ups and downs. However, if this is just the beginning of what there is to come, then they should easily be considered a serious championship contender. But let me know what you think about this current Lakers team, and please leave a like on the video to support the channel. Also, subscribe if you're new for more basketball videos just like this one.